And impatience never justifies disobedience to the Lord. It never justifies it. The fruit of impatience that we begin to reap in our life is, is anger, is discontent. No one's ever said, boy, I'm feeling great in this impatience I'm experiencing right now. Boy, has this been glorious. My relationships are going great because I'm incredibly impatient. No one ever says that. And we know patience to be a fruit of the Spirit. We understand that. But for their behavior waiting on God, their impatience didn't justify a reason to become disobedient because God said, wait. And maybe the Lord's saying that to you. I know he's saying it to me. Your pastor can be impatient. I'm sorry. But what I'm impatient for is the things I want God to do. What he's going to do in your life, in your children's life, in your grandchildren's life, in our community's life. I'm like, God, you're not moving fast enough. There's more that has to happen now. I don't want to wait. I want to see you glorified in everything. But he's operating and he's moving in his perfect timing, but impatience comes. But it doesn't give me a reason to become disobedient. But in, in, in the midst of impatience, my heart easily turns from the things of God. And I don't want my heart to turn that way. 